Hey guys, it's uh, GPH Streams here. Once again, back with another episode of the Seven Nights Idol Adventure. I am very, very busy, guys, but uh, I will try to do my best to provide this uh, new tier list. And uh, I haven't uh, progressed much on this uh, free to play account, and I focus mainly on my whale account. So, anyway, let's get started, guys. So, we have uh, new heroes, or two new heroes, and that would be Karma, and also we have here Amelia. So, let's uh, focus first on Amelia. By checking here uh, the uh, basic attack of Amelia, it deals damage equal to 300% of attack to the target, and this is quite nice. And we have here also the critic attack, in which it deals uh, critic damage equal to 250% of attack in a 5 meter area fan shape on the caster. My god, this is quite uh, very, very uh, useful, guys. And uh, we have here removes all buffs from the targets upon a successful attack. And additionally, inflicts stun debuff for, on the target for one second. And this stun unable to attack, move, and skills become unavailable. So uh, this hero is a melee type, as you can see here. And we have here an independent hero. Next, the skill. This would be the hero awakening. It grants advanced and nano suit buff to the caster for 10 seconds. And I think this is uh, quite uh, permanent because uh, we have here a cooldown of 10 seconds. And of course, this can be removed. And this advanced nano suit nullifies the damage taken by 10 times. Wow. <laughs> and increase uh, crit hit rate by 20% for this hero only. And also increases the weakness attack rate by 20%. My god, this is quite a very, very decent uh, hero, guys. And uh, before we uh, judge this hero, let's check first the attack speed. So we have here an attack speed that is 136, and this is above average, guys. So 127 or 125 to 127 is the average, and 136 is quite decent enough. So this Amelia is quite good or very, very good. Okay, It's most especially in a PvP and also in a PvE. So in PvE, wow. This is quite uh, very decent to use in uh, clustered enemies. And also on PvP, the same guys, we have here is Tan. But uh, this hero requires uh, a uh, suitable amount of uh, crit hit rate. And that can be acquired from this active skill. Okay, my goodness. I love this hero, guys. Next, uh, that would be uh, Karma. So if you will check here, Karma, uh, he is a defense type hero for Lords of Old. And by checking here the basic attack, so it deals damage equal to 300% of attack to the target, which is above average. And next, uh, we have here the crit hit attack. And it deals a crit hit attack damage equal to 350% of attack to the target. And this is also above average, guys. And grants a Sage Despair buff to allies for 2 seconds upon successful attack. And... Uh, I think uh, this crit hit attack is uh, quite nice on uh, PvE. It also grants a uh, build buff uh, to the caster for 10 seconds. Wow. And this uh, Sage of Despair, uh, Despair uh, increases the crit hit rate uh, resist by 24%. And this crit hit rate uh, resist is uh, decent to use in PvP. And uh, we have here the Sage of Despair in which it increases the crit hit rate resist by 24%. And this... Uh, resist guys is decent to use only in pvp and we have here also increased the final damage by 30 percent and this is best for both uh, pvp and pve uh, when attacking enemies inflicted by karma so there should be a karma uh, inflicted first before uh, this uh, final damage is increased by 30 percent so where can we get this karma so let's uh, check that later on so we have here also a veal buff or nullifies damage taken three times. So this veal only uh, affects the, the uh, caster and not the whole team. But the Sage of Despair uh, affects all of your teams, guys. So your team has this incre increase in uh, resist or crit rate uh, hit resist and also uh, final damage increase. So next, uh, we will move to this uh, active skill, which is the Agonizing Tempest, in which it grants ally all allies a shield. Uh, for 10 seconds and this shield is capable of absorbing damage equal to 30% of karma's max hp and it deals damage equal to 700 of attack in a 5 meter semicircle in front of the caster inflicts a karma debuff for 10 seconds upon successful attack so maybe this hero should be placed in the front row maybe on the second row at the back of uh maybe uh lubo or maybe uh, Sylvia. Okay. So we have your karma. Affected by karma, are you prepared to face the consequences of your own actions? Wow. And uh, we have your shield, guys. When taking damage from an attack, your shield is consumed instead of your HP. So shields cannot be removed using buff removal. Wow. 
So take note, grants all allies a shield, which is 30% of Garma's max HP. But before, before we judge this hero, let's check first the attack speed. And we have here a very nice attack speed that is a 176, guys. Wow. So anyway, uh, let's uh, go to our uh, tier list. So guys, on this uh, PvE tier list, we have here at the red uh, border, Amelia. I put Amelia here on this uh, melee. Okay, that would be on SS tier. I really love this uh, skill of Amelia, guys. And uh, very, very decent on a uh, PvE. Also, especially on clustered monsters or enemies. And on tank, I put Karma here on SS tier. Okay, next to Lobo. When using Karma, there is always a proper combination of this if you have an existing uh, lineup already. So maybe if you will put Karma in your team and it seems not good, maybe you should revise your team. And I will show that to you in on the next uh, video. So next, uh, we have here also on the PvP tier list, still Amelia on this SS tier. And that tank Karma is very, very decent on this PvP. Maybe we should put Karma here uh, at, in front of this Lubo. And uh, we will move here uh, Guan Yu and uh, Li Zhong. So I think that this would be the best order here. We have your Karma as number one. And next, that would be the uh, Lubo. So next, guys, uh, we have here the potential dice. And on this uh, potential dice, okay, on this Amelia, I put here three times crit damage, full crit damage on this five stars. And if you are level 50 or second month or above, uh, uh, three times uh, crit damage and full crit damage. And uh, at 7 stars, or maybe at 5 stars, you can do a combination of attack and uh, crit damage. Okay, so I have here the nodes in which uh, you can try to combine the crit damage and attack to save resources. And this hero is excellent in PvP and in crowd control monsters in a PvE. So this Karma, my god, this is only my suggestion, guys. And uh, I would suggest to put a full HP on Karma. So this hero is very, very greedy in HP. And the more HP Karma has, the more shield your heroes can get and the more tankier they become. The reason for this that I put here full HP for Karma is because of the attack speed. The attack speed of Karma is 176. So the more attack speed he has, the more he can produce crit hit attack. So that is the main reason why I put full HP on Karma. So uh, best in the difficult uh, stages in PvE, but shines more in PvP. So this is my theoretical dice for this new hero, guys. And on this uh, elemental combo, okay, I will adjust update this. And I will update uh, this uh, 7 stars uh, potential dice here. And I will put that uh, to be added or TBA. We have here TBA, guys. So anyway, that's it. And thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.